Ben. I'm Melissa. I'm Michael. Today we're talking to you about Lorton, Virginia. So exciting. Yes, so exciting. All right, when people think of Lorton, they think of two things. What are they, Michael? The prison. Yes. And the train. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the train is actually the auto train. We're gonna talk about that. It's kind of a it's kind of a big deal, but we're gonna talk about that. So, all right, well, location. Lorton's the southernmost part of Fairfax County. It's um, it stretches kind of east and west of 95. You've got Pohick Road on the north, and then the Occoquan River on the south side, which is the borders there. Um, and it also the Occoquan River is where it separates um, Fairfax County from Prince William County. So, a little fun fact for you there. Yeah. And then um, there's also in Lorton, you've got the VRE, which is the Virginia Railway Express. Yeah. And the, that, the line is the Fredericksburg line. So the, so the southernmost spot is, um, southernmost station is Spotsylvania. The northernmost is Union Station in, in, uh, in D.C. So you can take that, people can take the train from Fredericksburg all the way up and go into the city and then take the metro wherever they would like to go. And then Route 1 in Lorton is really kind of like a commercial area uh east of route one is industrial a lot of warehouses yeah. um storage facilities i've seen ever seen so many like rock quarries and places to get rock and stone yeah and there's so much of it especially like around <laughs> uh, mason neck yeah it's like <laughs> oh my god another rock quarry another yeah. one it's amazing <laughs> all right so how about you you have a fun fact about lorton and the um highway Yes, so uh, my fun fact about Lorton and is that they easy pass skipped Lorton, so uh, you have to take the back like road exit, which is, uh, and then there's back roads to get in, but um, yeah, it's a little frustrating because they did skip it, and now there's all this development going on, so Lorton could really use the easy pass. Uh, so you either have to get off at Backlick or you have to get off at the Occoquan 123 exit and then go back up around the Lorton workhouse. Tisk tisk. Was that their choice? Do you know? Uh, to my knowledge, yes. Oh my God! So they were like, we don't need the easy pass lanes, and now there's lots and lots of traffic there on 95. <laughs> They're probably regretting that decision. Yeah, yeah. So the history of Lorton is sort of summed up into two words, which is, as we said, the prison and the train. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt decided that the DC prison was unsanitary, not very good conditions. So he approved, he said that he wanted them to make a, basically a prison somewhere else in the area. So Congress approved the purchase of the land in Lorton, that's just north of the Occoquan, and that is where they were putting the prison reformatory. They're actually uh, attempting to make it there an agricultural work camp. Um, and the prisons were going to run the dairy, the sawmill, the blacksmith shop, uh, the pastures. There were poultry farms, a hog ranch, a slaughterhouse. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of orchard. There was a cannery there. Anyway, and it was the Lorton Reformatory, as they call it, from 1910 until 2001. And then there's some famous prisoners there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was uh, 168 suffragettes uh, in 1917 uh, were housed in the prison, which is... Ladies, pretty... you're not allowed to vote. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's incredible who was there. Uh, Norman Mailer Norman and Mailer Chuck Brown. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Most notable. Yeah. Um, and so it closed in 2001, uh, but we're going to hear about it again. I know, like a third time, so hold tight. It's coming back. Another piece of history here is the auto train, which was kind of a big deal. Still sort of is, I guess. People have done it. So in 1971, the Auto Train Corporation started a train where you could load your car on and then go from Lorton all the way down to Orlando, essentially outside Orlando. So this was a great way for people to take the train and go to Disney World, right? Uh, and so in 1981, the Amtrak actually took over and that they still run it to this day. Yeah. So we have a little bit of like Michael Melissa history. We took the auto train in the seventies when it was the original auto train corporation. Um, and a lot of t like a lot of the reason why we were doing that was because plane crashes really became so rampant in the seventies. There was just like more plane crashes than the normal person would really like to tolerate. Yeah. So tra traveling by car and even by train became a um, preferred method. Yeah, and in the eighties and nineties, we used to use the train to go back and forth, uh, whether we were traveling north or traveling south, because uh, we did two short stints in Florida. Uh, 
uh, and so we would travel back and forth because it was easier for my mom to load the train, uh, load the, uh, the car on the train, and then use it while we were down there. And so I used it a lot growing up. <laughs> Sick the four of you on there. Yes. Yeah, yeah my it's... mom still tells a story to this day that, like, I don't know, I found a friend on the train. I was five, yeah. I think. And she's like, you guys were running up and down the... I'm like, I'm sure that was really fun for everybody else on the train, too. Yeah. The, it was the sleeper cars, the yeah. cafe cars, like, the whole thing. That's why... One of the reasons why I have a, such an affinity for train travel, and I'm actually doing a lot more of it now just to kind of enjoy it again, because it's a really fun, easy way to, to travel. Yeah, and we also did not know that there's not auto trains all over the U.S., so when I was discussing yeah. with you, like, how am I going to get back from Iowa, you were like, just take the train back, and I was like, wait, really? <laughs> and there's no such thing as a train to Iowa. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's talk about real estate in Lorton, because that is probably why you are here, so... We think the, unis the real estate there is somewhat uniform. There's a lot of townhouse communities. Yeah. Uh, what Lorton offers people really is convenience, Fairfax County schools, which are which are great. The single family homes start in the 500s and they go really to the mid one millions. Uh, but you can find almost any price point here. Um, so in the lower price points, you're gonna see a lot of split level homes, ranch style homes, rambler homes in the 500s and 600s. Uh, as you get, you know, closer to the million, up to the 1.5, you're going to see a lot of colonials and then a lot of craftsmen, which really indicate it's a newer house that's been built in the last, you know, 10, 15 years or so. Yeah. Um, and then there's also the estates on the water. Yeah, the waterfront estates are really beautiful. Huge lots on the water. Uh, really great views of the Potomac. Uh, really, really nice properties. Yeah. So there's a few dozen neighborhoods in Lorton. A lot of them are planned communities. They'll have homeowners associations, things like that. Um, and so uh, there's Lorton Valley, which has 532 townhomes, and then they just annexed in another 30 single-family homes. There's Mason Neck, which is to the east, which is a lot of wetlands, but also rural properties and yeah. properties on the water. Uh, Laurel Highlands off Silverbrook Road is west of 95. They've got townhomes in Gunston Commons. There's also the 55 plus communities there. Yeah, over off of Silverbrook. There's also Cardinal Forest, which is awesome. Uh, two level condos. Um, really nice. I've sold a lot in there. Uh, really, really great community. And that's over across from the Laurel Highlands okay. area, which is really nice. Okay. And then, there, yeah, Newington Forest, another one, which is off South Run Road. If you want luxury and you want new houses, though, Guess where you are going? <laughs> to jail! Yeah! <laughs> You're going to the prison! Because they've redeveloped all of this now, and they've made it into tons and tons and tons of houses. It's now called Laurel Hill neighborhood. Um, it's where the reformatory was at one point. Um, they did not want to call it the reformatory community. That would have been great, but they did not decide on that. Apparently that didn't win. Yeah. So I had a client that had um, a friend that was living down there um, maybe like two years ago and she called and said like, Hey, like we, our friends live here. We want to, we want to look here. And she lived right by me, like up the street. So I was like, I'm just going to come pick you up and then we'll just drive down to Lorton together. So I picked her and her fiance now it's been up. Um, and we drove down there, and as soon as we they got in the car, I turned on Johnny Cash's Folsom Prison Blues. Yeah. She was like, I hate you. I'm like, this is amazing. I yeah. can't believe you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so they, the house got built, beautiful community. They um, settled. She said, you're not going to believe this. The first night in the house, there's all police cars behind. There's a stormwater management pond behind where her community is. Yeah. And, like, somebody... Like, they found a body in the pond. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was not related to the... Pr it wasn't no, anything. No, yeah. It was just, like... So, I mean, it was all woods, right? Yeah. And so, I don't know. Like, I don't know that anybody ever knew the story. But, yeah. And so, then, the second night, a car burst into flames on the front side of her townhouse. <laughs> she sent me video. <laughs> We're going to show the video, because I have it. <laughs> also, now I want to put the ring outside. Oh. Yeah. She was like, what is going on? I'm like, I think it's haunted there. So yes, yes. that's my personal opinion. However, when we posted about some stuff on it on Instagram, the comments were um, delicious. Somebody said, only white people would think it's cool to go live in a former prison. <laughs> uh. So, and they did. I mean, her house was new, but they did 
they did take what was cells and turn them into various things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I walked a lot of the, um, the I've, so I've been in a couple of the different um, types of homes there. And I walked through the models when they first started building some yeah. models. Yeah, You know, and then there's all the apartments that are the individual cells, which are so cool. <laughs> I mean, that's just awesome. Well, white people think they're cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's so funny because, uh, you know, in the 80s, I have such a memory of the prison because growing up in the 80s and 90s, there used to be the signs all along the road that said, do not pick up hitchhikers. They could be uh, a prisoners that have escaped, you know, and so it's just there's this the transition of this all turning into housing has been such a funny thing for me mm -hmm. to digest because I just remember <laughs> like all of those signs and growing up there, you just never knew. Do not pick up hitchhikers. That was the thing to do in the 70s and 80s, too. Yeah, yeah. Everyone picked up hitchhikers. I mean, not my family didn't because yeah. they were, the car was full yeah. with all of us, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I mean, but it's totally transformed. I mean, the, you know, they're putting in a lot of restaurants, in the, a lot more restaurants in the area. They're starting to fill um, the uh, the market that's down there, um, the Lorton Marketplace. Yeah, uh, so talk, let's know. talk about food. Yeah, let's talk about food. So uh, the, Sunders, Sun, bleh, the Sunday Farmer's Market uh, by the VRE station uh, in Lorton um, is really fantastic. It's mm -hmm. a really great farmer's market. Okay, yeah, good my to friend, know. My friend Vicky lives around the corner um, and uh, speaks very highly of it. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's really great. You haven't gone there to buy any of your secret ingredients for your dishes? No, uh, not yet. Yeah, no. There's a farmer's market, like, at the end of my block <laughs> in the 8th Street, so that's where I'm going. You're cooking. I both pull things out of the freezer. Hello, yeah. <laughs> Costco Samosas. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, uh, the restaurants at Lorton Station, like Casa Tequila, Hometown Bar and Grill... Uh, you know, the, um, the Lidl is coming to the prison's Liberty Market. Um... <laughs> Amazon Fresh. Yes, Amazon Fresh. Mm. Um, uh, the, there's a brewery slated to come into the Liberty Market area um, as well. So there's going to be a lot of new faces in the area that are really bringing options to Lorton, uh, which is really important because for a long time, Lorton didn't have a lot of options. And there are so many more now and there are more coming because of the development. Yeah, um, and there's stuff surrounding it too, right? So... You said that's like your favorite Wegmans in, up, up on Route yeah, 1. Yeah, the Wegmans up there near, it's not in Lorton, but near there uh, is really fantastic. That one is one of the newest ones besides the one that's in the, the old Fannie Mae building off of Wisconsin and D.C. And um, it is really uh, a great Wegmans. It's so nice when you walk in there um, and the location is really central. Um, to a lot of the different cities, um, so everybody shops there, and so they've. It seems like the inventory rolls over a lot um, there, so everything is super fresh. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, which is really nice. Uh, all and, right, and then yeah, Costco's up there too. Yeah, and then... Costco, and then my favorite restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants, Faux Chateau in Lorton, is really fun. Uh, really great fall place. Like Asian French Chateau Faux Chateau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fusion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it must be from the French influence in Vietnam, so that must be where it's coming from. History is hard. I don't know those. Things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then on the north uh, northwest side of Lorden, you've got Giants, Guisita Pizza and Pasta, Lotus Pho, and Fuse Box. Very so, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of options, a lot more, especially than when I grew up. All righty. In Fort Belvoir area. Okay. Fun fact. Guess whose headquarters is here? Five guys. Well, five of them. Yeah. Their headquarters is in Lorton. Yeah, you can see it as you cross the bridge over yep. off Route 1. Oh, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's right on the water. Okay, very cool. All right, so fun. What is there for fun in Lorton? Well, straight shots of Disney party people. Put yeah. that car on the train and, uh, you know, you can just go right down to Orlando. Just ride. It's like 18 hours or something. Yeah, like but the good thing yeah. is, is you don't have to pay for a rental car. If you take your car on the train with you. Also true, because it's very expensive down there right now. Yeah. As with everything where we're seeing prices go up, apparently the rental cars for the weeks are like in the thousands down there right they now. They are. Yeah. The last time we were in Florida, it was over $1,000 for yeah. four days. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, if you want some fun closer to home and you don't want to have to go to Florida for it, uh, let's talk Occoquan Regional Park. There's trails, fields, volleyball courts. 
Um, there's also uh, Laurel Hill Park, you've got a golf course, there's mountain biking trails, and then there's also the Work Workhouse Arts Center. Yeah. That is a 55 acre complex that was once part of the prison, the reformatory, uh, and it's now 11 buildings. It's filled with galleries, studios, all kinds of different um, things related to the arts. They offer 300 arts education classes in various disciplines there. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. It's really fun. The yeah. classes are really fun there. I've taken a couple different things. Yeah. Um, and, there's like uh, pottery, like there's all kinds of things yeah, there, right? Yeah, I took cooking classes uh, pre-pandemic um, there. It was really fun. I mean, it's, it's so amazing how it's been transformed. Yeah, well... I'm sure the prisoners would like to see that. Like, it was an agricultural work farm when we were here. Yeah. Uh, there's, okay, so Pohick Bay Regional Park. You can actually camp there overnight, which is pretty neat. There's a boat launch. You can go on kayaks, paddleboard. There's mini golf, water park, equestrian trails, fishing, hiking. There's an 18-hole golf course as well. Mason Neck has camping, hiking, fishing, boating. Uh, there's supposed to be Alpine X coming. Have you yeah. heard of this? It's like an indoor ski studio. There's a few of them around the country, and it's still, like, in process. Like, the yeah. last evidence of news I could find was from a few months ago, the end of 2022. It's still kind of on the books, so that's, like, a remains to be seen, so stay tuned on that one. Uh, and then Captain John Beach Marina. It's a family-owned marina, and it's a really great place. If you have a boat, you can do boat, boat launch there. Yeah, it's really great. It's always been really well-known. Very cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on to kids. Talk about what's here for kiddos. Yeah. So 28% of the people in Lorton are actually under 18. So there are five elementary schools. They all go to sixth grade here. Gunston, Lorton Station, Halley, Laurel Hill, and Silverbrook. Silverbrook's actually in Fairfax, but part of the people in Lorton will go to that school. Um, and then, so Silverbrook and Laurel Hill scores on great schools are an A. The other ones are sort of middle of the road. For middle school, you have South County Middle School. That actually gets a seven on great schools, which is really pretty good because we don't really see that for middle schools. Like everything dives at yeah. middle school. Um, and then South County High School is a six on great schools. South County High School has AP and honors program. They don't have IB there though. Um, like many um, other high schools in Fairfax, South County maintains a completely separate website for their sports. So on there you can find information about Football, basketball, golf, cross country, lacrosse field, hockey, baseball, gymnastics, um, swimming, crew, tennis. They have competitive cheer. So that's kind of interesting, too. That's one of the first high schools we've seen here that we've done that has competitive cheer. Uh, there's, you know, people that want to do competitive cheer often have to join, like, an outside, like, a rec center or some other organization. They join a team, and then they that's it's a side, a separate thing from school. They do have it here, though, at South County High School. Also, because this is Virginia, there's the governor's program for 10th and 11th graders where you can do like a summer internship on a whole variety of different disciplines and areas of study to include marine biology. Awesome. I know. That's I thought really that was cool. pretty cool. You can channel your inner George Costanza. Yeah. I'm a marine <laughs> biologist. <laughs> Till the whale like yeah. pup gets beached and you have to go yeah. <laughs> get the golf ball out of it from where Kramer was playing. So, and then we also talked about Pohick Bay Regional Park earlier. Don't forget that there, there's the water park. So the Pirates Cove Water Park is there, mini golf, and also a playground for kids. Yeah. Um, and so, and then for doggies, what do we have? We've got Glunston Animal Hospital, which is on Route 1, and that is pretty highly rated. Um, and that's where we always, that's where we took our animals for the longest time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where we took our animals for the longest time and um, uh, had a really strong relationship with the vets there. Oh, cool. Yeah, even Very when we cool. didn't live in the area, uh, we did still drive our animals up there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then... Um, there's the industrial park on the north side of Lorton also has quite a few things. There's like a groomer in there, like the, and they all are really highly, like everybody loves these places. There's a groomer in there. And there's also a, um, a daycare in there yes. as well. Uh, and so, and then um, there's a bark park in Laurel Highlands also, so an off-leash park. Yes. So that's that. So that's yeah. Lorton. It's not as built up as other areas, I don't think, but it's probably on its way. 
Yeah, and I love it. I love Lorton. I, I've always uh, thought it was just a great place to be, live. Um, its proximity is really great. The housing has been really affordable. Definitely. Uh, and, you know, the all the different areas are charming, especially the little small townhouses all, along um, over off of Silverbrook. Mm -hmm. um, love that community. So yeah. South Run, yeah, really great. And you get Fairfax County Schools, which is good. Yeah. A lot of people like that. Yeah. So that's that. So that's Lorton. Uh, if you have any questions, our contact info is coming next. <laughs> Wanna hear you go?